Hi, my name is I Will Dominate from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to Vault Bear. For Vault Bear's jungle clear, I believe that um, he does it fairly well now that they buff the W. If you don't know about the buff, every time you use your W on a monster in the jungle, the cooldown's halved, so you can use it once at the start of the camp and then once at the end of the camp for execute damage. As far as ganking goes, I think Vault Bear's legitimately one of the top ganking junglers in the game right now. Uh, he just has so much CC early game and he has uh, movement speed, gap closer, and with Chilling Smite you can pretty much get on everyone, so I'd say his ganking is a 10, I'd say it's top tier. And for solo queue, overall I think he's an 8. I think he brings a lot of early game pressure, which is really important in solo queue since a lot of the games are decided early and there's a lot of uh, uh, tilting and raging in solo queue if you get super far ahead, so being able to put a lot of pressure on the map early is super good. He also um, is fairly tanky because of his passive, and um, he does a lot of damage if the team isn't coordinated and peeling you. When starting off your jungle path on Volibear, I like to start at Gromp, which allows your bot lane to get double golems if you're on blue side, and it also sets up a really good path for you. Which is level 1, you do Gromp with help of your top laner. Level 2, you use you do blue buff, and you don't use any pots. What you, do, what you use to sustain yourself is use your passive on the first couple camps. So you let yourself tick down to like one or two bars and then your passive will help you sustain a little bit and it'll normally be back up by the time you need it like in a gank situation. So I start Grump, then do blue buff, then my third buff will be, or my third camp will be red buff and I'll smite that and have a decent amount of health and I'll just use like one pot normally and I'll be topped off at full health and then I'll be able to gank either mid or bot. Uh, with a full health follow bear gank, which I think is um, super strong and you can normally get a kill in either lane. When playing follow bear on purple side, I like to start Gromp with help of my bot lane, get blue um, second and pop my passive. Make sure I don't use any health pots on the early part of my clear since it has a two minute cooldown and it will normally come back up in a reasonable amount of time. Um, the third camp I'll do is red buff and I'll smite that and get more health. Um, so I'll be normally full health with one extra pot, and from there I'll either gank top or mid depending on which lane is pushed or which lane I have better CC in. When ganking on Volibear, it's fairly straightforward. You normally just want to run up to them with your Q, and then once when you're about to get in range to flip them, you E to slow them down and make sure you can get your Q off. And then you just flip them and auto them uh, twice, which will bring up your W, and you normally just try to get off your W before they are able to get away from you. Normally when you're running at people with Volibear, they'll be pretty quick to flash. And if they do flash, then you can flash right after them, flip them, and then they'll have, have um, no way to get out of the gank. So, the Volibear's biggest strength is ganking, and the ganks are pretty easy to accomplish. So, um, you just have to be ready to look for ganks that you can do, and remember that since you do have a flip, you are able to go for some of the ganks that are close to their turret. When team fighting with Volibear, you want to start off the fight by using your Righteous Glory, or if you don't have one, just queuing at um, the team. If they have a, like, a high priority target, like a carry without flash, you can flash flip them into your team and you'll probably end up killing them. If, you're, if you get peeled at any point, you should just turn on your ultimate and auto the closest thing to you. It hits four targets, which is normally enough to um, hit most of their team in a team fight. So it's really important to just uh, use your passive to tank. Don't be afraid when you go low, especially if you don't have Ignite on you and then auto as many times as possible to just proc your lightning through as many people as you can. As far as counter jungling, Volibear doesn't really have any tools to make him an excellent counter jungle, but he is really good in 1v1 fights. So if you do end up in a skirmish with the other jungler, if you have your passive up, you'll almost win all of them if you're just able to get into range. Um, unless you're being kited, Volibear is super strong, just head to head. So it just really depends on the type of skirmish, but if you do get into a 1v1 or 2v2 with your passive up and they don't have ignite, you should be able to come out on top every time. As for champions that synergize really well with Volibear, pretty much all uh, laners that have any type of CC will synergize well. Like for example, mid would be LeBlanc, top would be Aurelia. Anything that can lock up an opponent and help you with your gank will be really good because if Volibear is able to get up to someone for free, they're almost 100% dead. The only problem he has is with being kited, so you just love any laners that bring CC, like Alistar for example is support, Thresh support, um, Aurelia Rise top, Maokai top, um, Ari mid, LeBlanc mid, pretty much anything that can either follow up really well or start off the gank with CC really well. The biggest tip that I could give you guys on Fall Bear is um, to realize that even if you get peeled out of a fight, you can use your your ultimate to proc your lightning on champions that are far away from you. So if you, for example, are fighting around mid lane 
and you go for a gank and you get peeled. Uh, look for the closest thing possible to hit. If it's a minion, it'll work too, and just hit the minion and try to proc your lightning onto them. There's a little bit of RNG uh, when it comes to which targets get hit, but uh, in general, it's better to just do that than chase after them and not be able to do any damage. On Fall Bear, I normally go physical damage marks, armor per level yellows, CDR blues, and attack speed quintessences. This is just a standard bruiser page, and the reason I run per level on armor is because I do want to pop my passive early, and I'd rather just have scaling armor so you don't really have clearing problems and you um, sustain yourself pretty well in the jungle. Um, the CDR glyphs are just because Volibear has is a cooldown based champion. He doesn't do much with his auto attacks. He's mainly based off um, being able to have your abilities up, so it just uh, helps you um, have more abilities up more often. As for masteries on Volibear, I like to go 21 offense and 9 defense. The way I do this is by going 1 point double edged sword, 2 points fury, 2 points sorcery, butcher, brute force, feast, martial mastery, spell weaving, blade weaving, executioner, dangerous game, devastating strikes, and havoc. And then for my 9 defense, I do 2 points block, 2 points tough skin, 3 points veteran scars, 1 point unyielding, and 1 point juggernaut. The reason for this setup is just to get the 10% um, CDR flat just from your runes and masteries and also just have a lot of damage in the early game so you can kill people on your ganks. You're mainly trying to gank a lot and trying to get as many kills as possible. <sighs> as for skills on Wallabear, I like to start W level 1, get E level 2 because the fear is really good at um, reducing damage on the jungle monsters. And then I get um, Q level 3 to try to gank and I max out W first and then E second. Uh, the reason for this is W is your uh, best clearing tool um, in terms of single um, target clearing, which is the Gromp uh, and the Golem blue buff and red buff, just because you can use it twice on a camp now and it get, has reduced damage. It also does the most damage to champions since you stack health and it's an execute. And um, E second is just better for the slow. Um, it scales a lot better than uh, the Q, for example, and uh, it's just the second best ability he has to level. For item build on Volibear, you have a lot of options. Um, you will be going Cinder Hulk, but it depends on um, how the game is going. You can go Chilling Smite if you're ganking a lot, you can go Rangers if you're farming a lot, or you can get Skirmishers if you're afraid of getting into like a 2v2 with the other jungler. So you have the options on which Smite you choose, but I normally go Chilling Smite, um, Complete Cinder Hulk, and then Righteous Glory is a really good pickup. Um, it just helps you close the gap in the later game when people have more kiting. And then um, you have the options of going any of the tank items that you need at that point. Um, I personally like Frozen Heart a lot, um, just in general on tanks, just because it gives you a decent amount of CDR. If you have 10% CDR from your um, Runes and Masteries, then you get another 20 from Frozen Heart. Um, if you pick up a Kindle Gem at any point, you'll be maxed out and you'll um, just have your abilities up uh, really quickly. And then um, you have the option of going uh, Locket if your team needs a Locket or Thornmail um, if your team needs a hard tank. It really just depends on what your team needs, but I think that um, Volibear is just a uh, tank later on and early ganking jungler um, in the early game. Thanks for watching my champion guide to Volibear. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos here at lawclass.com.